the dead or uh, I think it's like the dead or not dead, but what is it? The dead or alive, but we perceive them not. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. really like that one. That's one of the European laws. Okay, yes, yeah. yeah. So, oh, so you, you looked into it, yeah. Yeah, we do read the Quran. We try, like, we're nearly like, not, well, we're like a quarter of three, but we try to read it like every day, like at least. Quarter of three, it's 120 grams. Mashallah, yeah, that's very good. Like 10 pages a day or something. Alhamdulillah. Like May Allah increase us all in uh, knowledge, beneficial yeah, yeah, knowledge. So, yeah, so the angels, yeah, all of us, all of us. So, so the angels, they're made of light. Like, for example, in Islam, we don't believe the devil is a fallen angel because the angels can never disobey God. We believe from the jinn, which I mentioned before, the jinn, they're a separate creation who can obey God or disobey God. So the, the devil, uh, Satan, is, fr is from... Uh, is from the jinn but as for, so the angels they fulfill the commandments of god like the angels bring revelation the angels will support the believers the angels will bring the punishment the angels will take the soul at the time of death uh, the angels will guard paradise and they will uh, guard the hellfire etc so this is the angels that's the second pillar third pillar is the books so we believe for example moses was given a torah we believe David was given the, the Psalms or Zabor. We believe Jesus was given the Injil. We believe in these books as they were sent down. But we believe what the Jews and Christians have today is corrupted. And there, yeah, there's so many reasons why we can show that it's been corrupted. Even, even Christian scholars, biblical scholars, they recognize this. So that's the third thing. We believe in the messengers. So like Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. And we believe that these are the best of mankind and they were chosen to deliver the message to mankind and to, to tell people how to worship God Allah, and how to tell people what's going to happen in the hereafter. So we believe in all the messengers. But the last one, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and no messenger will come after him. Uh, the fifth pillar, the last day, which you, you mentioned about yeah. the last day it basically it covers everything that happens from the time we die okay. how the the angel of death will take our souls how they take the soul of the believer how it takes the soul of the disbeliever how we are placed in our grave all mankind is asked three questions in their grave who is your lord what is your religion and who is the messenger sent to you yeah. so we'll be asked this then uh, the day of judgment what's going to happen on the day of judgment and it describes the paradise and it describes the hellfire. You still need me for the wallet? Yes, okay. in, the mo in the moment. But you're in the moment. Yes, no problem. No problem, no problem. So, yes, so the hadith mentioned, so paradise, it has gates. I think I made a mistake. I can't remember if it's seven or eight. I'll have to get back to you. Okay, yeah, that's a worry. But the paradise, it has gates. And so there's gates of fasting, there's gates of the people who pray, there's gates for the people who give charity. And so some people will enter by different gates. But as you said, the woman who fulfills these three commandments to pray five times a day, to fast in Ramadan and to obey her husband. Obedience here means that she obeys in what is good. Not her husband tells her something which is oppressive or something which is like, for example, if the husband says, you are my wife, you have to drink alcohol. She would never obey him. Yeah. Or he says, you are my wife, you're not allowed to cover your hair. She, she would never obey him. So the woman who does this, she can enter paradise by whatever gate she wishes. Whereas the man, he has to do a lot more work. Yeah. Um, like, do you go to the same place? Do you like, enter the cherry gate or the fast? Yes, 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 yes. yes. the same place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Even, for example, the, the, the believers in this life, like the, the husband and the wife, they will be together. The children will be together. But the, the husband will be more handsome. The wife will be more beautiful. And there will be no, you know, the people in paradise, you know, we're human. We have uh, shortcomings, we have mistakes. You know, like, for, for example, even when you love someone, there's something which it, it, it annoys you or something like this. Yeah. yeah all of this is removed. So it's just peace and tranquility. Because yeah. paradise is the place where, you know, the, the human soul, this is what we desire. That's why people in this life, if they don't understand and they don't uh, understand satisfaction or cont contentment, they can never be happy. Because the soul has been created for the hereafter. And in paradise, a person will be young forever, they never grow old. They'll be healthy forever, they never become sick. They'll be happy forever, they will never become sad. And they will live forever and they will never die.
if you look at these four things, you can see that people are craving this in this life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they can't have it. So that's why people become uh, depressed or anxious, etc. So this will all be fulfilled in the hereafter. And obviously there's the opposite for those who, when the truth comes to them and out of arrogance they reject, then the hellfire. Then the last pillar, the sixth pillar, is called the Qadr. Qadr is the decree. We believe that Allah, the all-knowing, the all-wise, whatever happens, He knows. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. The good is, is a test for us. When, when Allah gives us something good, it's are we going to be grateful? When Allah gives us a hardship or difficulty, it's to see if we're patient. And also that, that makes a person a stronger person when they go through difficulties. So we believe that Allah knows everything, Allah created everything, Allah has decreed everything, and we have our own free will, but nothing can happen in the heavens and the earth except by the will of God. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. Not even the leaf will fall from the tree. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, that's the six pillars of Iman. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for asking my question. No problem, no problem. Yeah, thank you. And then just, just while well, we're on that subject, so six pillars of Iman, yeah. five pillars of Islam. Yeah. This is like, you know like you have a tent. Yeah. The, the pillars, they hold up the tent. They're not everything. So these five pillars are not everything, but these are the most important thing in Islam. Because Islam, it, it governs your complete, work, complete life. But the five pillars are, the first one, the thing which makes you a Muslim, when you, when you testify that none has the right to be worshipped by Allah, and that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. That's the first pillar. Second, a Muslim prays five times a day. And this is something beautiful. It's like you have a, con you, in our busy lives, five times a day you have a connection with, with Allah. Is that because Allah told them to pray five times yes. a day? Yes. Okay. A person can pray more. There's, there's other optional prayers. But these five times a day, whether you're working, whether you're traveling, you stop, you take time out and you pray. And it is something which is beneficial for us. Like even the, because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was sent for all mankind, but he was an Arab. So he gave them many examples which they, they could understand. So he asked, once he asked the companions if a person he has a stream in front of his house and he bathes in that stream five times a day. Would any dirt remain on their body? So obviously they all said no. So he said same, when, when a person prays five times a day, their sins are washed off. So by praying five times a day, we get our sins forgiven, we have connection with Allah, you have peace, you have tranquility and you have purpose in life. After that we have zakat. Zakat is, zakat it means to purify and it means to increase. But zakat is the compulsory charity. But this is, for example, if a person has wealth up and above their needs, it's not your, your needs. Like you need food, you need a house, you need transport. You don't pay zakat on this. But a person who has savings for one year, or a person has gold, for example, or this country we don't have it, but if a person has crops, or a person has camels, or sheep, or cows, etc. The, the crops is on the day of the harvest, you have to give to the poor, 5% or 10%. Oh, that's but the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but the. On the other wealth is 2.5%. Yeah. So, for example, if I have 100 pounds, up, up and above my needs, above the level of zakat, then every year I will give £2.50 to the poor. It doesn't sound much, but if, if all the Muslims they paid their zakat, there would be yeah. no poverty in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, yeah, so, so yeah, this is zakat. Uh, the fourth pillar, fasting in the month of Ramadan. You know, every year we, we have a, obviously we use this calendar daily, you know, January, February, etc. But in Islam, we have our own calendar and, and it's done by the moon. So each month, you know, when you see the, the new moon, the very thin in the sky, this is the first day of the month. As it goes for the full moon, this will be the middle of the month. And then it will disappear again. Then a new So the, the month of Ramadan, every Muslim who is fit and able, a sick person, no. Every Muslim who is fit and able, they fast, which is avoiding food, drink and marital relationships from the sun up to the sun down. Okay, Allah mentions in Quran because the beautiful thing about Islam, obviously I'm Muslim, so you can say that I'm biased. But 
the beautiful thing about and the reason why I accepted Islam in Islam you have an answer for everything and Islam it really encourages you to ask questions so Allah mentioned in Quran Surah Baqarah uh, chapter 2 so you probably read it already Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as siyam kama kutiba alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon it says O you who believe fasting has been prescribed upon you like it was prescribed on those before you so this fasting, this praying, this charity, is not only the followers, the, the, the nation of Muhammad, peace be upon him, but all the previous prophets used to fast. Jesus would fast, Moses would fast, Abraham would fast. So it's something that we have to do, and it's something which the previous nation had to do. Then Allah mentioned at the end of the verse, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In order that you may gain uh, awareness and you may the fear of God. What happens is, yeah, obedience to God is, is, is very hard to explain. But in the month of Ramadan, it's a very beautiful time. You know when you have this, this hunger, you, you, feel, you, feel, you feel need for your Creator. You, you recognize your weakness. Uh, you recognize the rights of the poor more and you know what they feel like. And at the same time, the month of Ramadan, because you're not busy with um, food and drink and uh, marital relationships, you, you feel more connected to God. Yeah. To God. yeah, so yeah, so fasting is for this reason. Yeah, okay. And then also in the month of Ramadan, we have the, it's called the Tarawi prayer or the Qiyam al the night prayer, where I would say 99.9% .9 of all masajid, the, the whole Quran is read. Uh, no problem. Yeah, the whole Quran is read in the whole month. But when the Quran is read, it's read by the it's called the one who leads the prayer is known as the Imam, and he will read the, the whole Quran from memory, not holding the book, but just from memory. Yeah, Allah mentions in uh, chapter 54, uh, It sounds so beautiful when you say it. It is. It is. Yeah. No problem. You, you will, inshallah, you will. God willing, you will. So it mentions we have made the Quran easy to remember. So is there anyone who will remember it? Literally hundreds of thousands of people today have memorized Quran. Even, you know, children from six years old, seven years old. You know, some countries, their, their custom, like Mauritania and stuff, their, their custom is they won't send the children to school until they memorize Quran. And the, the Quran, for example, when, the, when the, the leader of the prayer leads the prayer, we're human. Sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes you slip. When he makes a mistake, the people behind him, they correct him like that. And they're not holding the Quran either. Yeah, it's just, just memorized. Because you hear it again and again and again. And like you said, it's beautiful. So, like for example, we have the English translation, French translation, uh, Malay translation. This is never considered Quran. This is only considered translation. The Quran is the speech of Allah sent down in Arabic, preserved and protected in Arabic. And it has a it has a different meaning. It has, it has it's more powerful. Like even like when I when I mentioned to you that Allah Tattaqoon, in order you may get taqwa. It, you know I said it's righteousness, it's God awareness, it's fear of God. It is it's very hard to explain. Whereas taqwa just says everything. So, some, of the companion, some of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they said taqwa is like a person, imagine you have beautiful clothes on and you're walking along a path with uh, you know, spikes and, uh, from the bushes and how you, you know, you're, you're protecting your... This is taqwa. Your whole life you have uh, the presence of Allah, you have awareness of Allah and you're trying to please Him and you're, wor you're worried about displeasing Him. This is taqwa. So fasting in Ramadan brings about this. It's, it's like a training period. So taqwa would be like the, the, the relationship you have with God, your clothes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And taqwa is mentioned in the Quran again and again. Like uh, in the beginning of the Quran it mentions uh, This is a book in which there is no doubt. It is a guidance for those people who have taqwa. So the one who has taqwa, he will be guided by this book. So, uh, so yeah. So this was fasting the month of Ramadan, and then the last pillar is known as Hajj. Hajj is the you know uh, once in a lifetime. Every Muslim who's able, they will perform the pilgrimage. They will go to Mecca, which is uh, amazing. It's amazing because you're there with maybe three million, four million people, and if you see. 
the woman, she can dress as she wishes, but all of the men, whether they're rich, whether they're poor, whether they're black, whether they're white, whether they're educated, they all wear, you know, two white yeah, yeah, clothes. Yeah, I've seen that picture. Yeah, it is, it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's like, you know, honey. Yeah. If, if, if you explain honey to a person who's never had it, yeah. you can use words, but until they taste it, yeah, so that, that's hajj. So that's the, the five pillars, of Islam. that's the six pillars of Iman and the five pillars of Islam. That's the basics. Yeah. And as you said, there's so much to, uh, to learn. Yeah. Sorry. We'll give you all that, don't worry. We'll give you the so, whole book, we'll give you all that. Yeah. So basically, uh, this is Hamza. Okay. If you're happy, to, he can be your, your wakil. You can uh, contact him or you can contact him through his wife. And then you can discuss if you, if you need anything, for example, in your married life. Thank you so much. So, so, so what happens is why you need you know, uh, a welly, like to the wakil, is because you need somebody to represent and look out for you, like if, you, if there is any problem. Yeah. yeah. And when he does the marriage, he's going to ask, he's going to ask me some questions on your behalf. Okay. Yeah. You need, like, for example, do you want to get married? Yeah. Kind of Did you mention the dowry? Yes. But I think you two have to discuss. Like, he has to give you a gift. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's, it's your choice. Yeah. So, does, would the gift come before the marriage or after the No, it, 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 can be, it can be agreed. It has to be agreed at the marriage. But you give it when you're able. Yeah, you give it when you're able. Yeah. It could be big, it could be small. So, if you want to give her a, a gift of, let's say, £100,000, that's fine. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in agreement with She's that. She's there, like, bring yeah. it on. Does it have to be, could it be like. It could be as good as a Quran. It could be, it could be a, a Islamic dress, it could be a, a book, it could be a gold. Yeah, and it's yours. It doesn't belong to, it doesn't belong to anyone else. Yeah. Could it be like, um, say if it was like, like one day, like make sure you provide like family and children or something or not like that? No, it has to be something uh, like tangible, yeah. Okay. And something which can be, for, like some people what they'll do is very common, a Muslim will say, uh, I will marry you on the condition you take me Hajj. The problem is, the problem is, it's not something which is a uh, because the person may pass away. Yeah. So it should be. It's, it's better be something tangible. Okay, I understand. Do you, do you want to go away for a few minutes and discuss? Yeah, can we, and then we'll be back yeah. in two seconds. No problem. Thank you so much. No problem. No problem. Don't go away. They come back though. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Are yeah. oh, they reflecting on upon drink and liquor? Yeah. Thought they were ready to do so. They were already ready. Yeah, That's I'm right. just explaining. No, but I asked them the mehr. Okay. They have to discuss. I, it's not nice to discuss in front of us the yeah, mehr, no, is no, it? No, yeah. no, what about, but you, you know what to say, don't you, in terms of yeah, the yeah, yeah. exit? I'm not done with I'm bad, but not that bad. I'm like that. Are you married? You've been married before? Yeah, of course. You're yes. married? Something. Oh, God, I think you know what to say. Oh, yeah. It's very simple. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, are oh, you gonna do it? It's not finished. Not finished. It's not finished. You can yeah, do it. Huh? They're having a you private conversation. Akhi, bismillah. Let him speak. It's a bad deal. Akhi. 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 Akhi.